up everyone welcome to uh, behind the scenes we are actually shooting the first scene right now we're at the EHT nature reserve uh, we're using the Sony a7 III the first scene is gonna be right here where I'm gonna be coming out running from the trees there and coming out so it's gonna be a tight shot we have it on the tripod with our um, small rig and also we have the handle as well so for the other shots that we're gonna do so we're gonna show you and then we also have a uh, Faisal um, tripod so let's go ahead and shoot uh, some of the behind the scenes for you guys <laughs> I don't know. Oh man, we got it. <laughs> that was good. Damn, we should have recorded that. Arm. So we did the first scene of me sliding down. It's for the close up shot, which means they're trying to get my facial expressions when I slide, and then I'm about to start running. So that's the scene that's going on now. We are shooting this scene at 70. Don't just cut me here. You're sliding, you're low with me right now, so you gotta go real quick. Yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> if you're trying to get my shot, get it from here. Right? What do you think? You have to move it to your right a little bit? No. Shit. I got stuck. Uh, Keep it running. Alright guys, so we just got done with that scene right there, which is me sliding, close-up, extreme close-up shot. Now Marcus came up with this other shot, which is that damn hill up there. He wants me, <laughs> me, to go up there and slide the hell down. I guess he doesn't realize I'm 40, not 20 anymore. He but does his own stunts, like Jackie Chan. <laughs> I'm about to start sliding down that big hill right there. I know it doesn't look like anything there, but it is pretty steep, so I don't know. You only got one long shot. Then again, same way. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Look down, look down. Look at the hill. Hey, cut, do it again. Look down, perfect, cut. That was dope, one more time. Run, 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 run. And cut. So, I finally got done with the hill shot that Marcus came up with on the spot. And I think we got all the angles, right? Close up, everything else. All but one that I really wanted because he's old and he can't, can to, he can't do all his old stunts. Here's a, here's a guy that's talking who has a cane in his hand, but we'll let that one go. So we're getting the drone prepared. Oh, which one is this? There you go. And then that one down. It's the, the longest car. opening of the propellers of yeah, all time. It's <laughs> made it. You see the gap right there? Okay. Go right yeah. through there. Yeah, I want a shot like that. So when you get me in the frame, mm -hmm. then you stop following me. Okay. We're trying to get hey, the drone high. shot. Then record down. Right. Through the branches that, over there, through the gap. The drone sensor is not letting us go through it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try running with them. All right guys, right now I have to do a voiceover just because it's so windy out there and I've been shooting this whole vlog with the Sony uh, Mark VI 
and of course that doesn't have the internal uh, mic input on there so we kind of had to record right on the camera and it was very difficult for you guys to hear so I really didn't want to do that so that's why I'm doing this voiceover basically what I'm doing is I'm explaining to you guys about the exposure problem that we've been having on this video shoot because there's so many clouds out there so the sun keeps going in and out of the clouds and we had to kind of manually adjust everything there and it was pretty difficult but we got through it so all the audio that we've been capturing uh, for the video itself is we're using the Zoom H5 and for the microphone itself we are using the Bayer Dynamic Microphone and uh, it captures really good audio itself. So what we're going to be doing is just using just that little area right there to capture all the audio that I need for this video itself. Um, like I said, you just have to kind of manipulate uh, some of the things that you have to do and um, Basically, you don't really need to go ahead and have a big budget and have like a studio itself to capture all this audio. So unfortunately, it's a low budget film that we're shooting, so we got to do what we got to do. And right now, I'm capturing the audio where I'm running. Yeah, it's pretty much simple. <laughs> I know I'm look, I look like a fool there, but, you know, that's what you got to do to capture it to make it look realistic. Uh, right now, what I'm doing is just recording the ambient noise of the wind, uh, the birds, and, you know, the trees itself. So as we were doing our audio recording, there were a couple of people that were going by and their pet, you know, they had the dog. And this dog was pretty cute. And, um, you know, basically, we've been working all day and this dog came around, actually made our day. Of course, after the dog, we pretty much got right back to work. And as you guys can see right now, we're trying to capture some more audio and of course <laughs> we are using Marcus's cane if a lot of you guys are wondering why he's on his cane because he's been having some issues with his knee and his hip so he that's why he's carrying the cane around but as you can see he's a trooper he came out and helped out anyway what I'm basically trying to tell you guys is you don't really need to have big budget and uh, uh, for you to go ahead and shoot any kind of film guys I mean, I basically have a Zoom H5 and a bare dynamic microphone. Uh, and then, of course, I'm using a cane to capture some of the audio. So you don't really need to have a big budget for you to shoot any kind of film. You do use whatever you have. You just have to be creative to go ahead and capture what you want. Today was supposed to be the ending scene of the run. I did have to cancel it. So I had to call the model and my crew up and say, hey, guys, we had to postpone the shoot due to the weather. It has been rainy out there, it's been gloomy out there, so the weather hasn't been cooperating with us, uh, so I did have to cancel it. Alright guys, so right now we're doing the ending scene. We finally got to the EHT Reservoir. I'm with Franklin Brooks. He's Pretty actually proud. he's helping me out right now. So we do have the camera set up, which is right here, and I'm basically going to be running through there. Just a B-roll shot of me running and capturing uh, some of my hand movements and my feet as well, and uh, we're using the that's a setup. Hey, this time, wait for the director to say action. Yes, sir. Hold on. All right, guys, so finally got done with the ending scene and big shout out to Big Frank He's been my camera guy also slash director as well because he came out with a couple of dope ideas and uh, I'm really thankful for him to come out and let me finish this project basically the last scene was Me putting the camera right down there and I run to it and then I pick it up and I'm acting like I'm about to go shoot the scenery and then I basically just go ahead and say to the camera, uh, you know, whatever it takes to get the shot. A lot of photographers and videographers can actually relate the slogan where whatever we got to do to get that one shot. Now, the main script that I wrote was with the model rather than the scenery. I wanted the model to be out there, but three models I had to postpone. Not their fault, but it was my fault. Yes, it's Easter and we're here. We're doing the shoot. And uh, that's what this whole thing is about, guys. Uh, whatever it takes to get the shot. And uh, hopefully you guys like it. Yeah, big shout out to Big Frank. And uh, Tim Dog as well. Tim Dog had to work. He couldn't make it, but, you know, it is what it is. We got to do what we got to do. But, peace.